Sisters, we now ask God to give these children new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal your fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this bond the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ 
and the death of baptism, rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present these children for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, they are to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in their hearts. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. So speaking for these children, godparents, and also parents, all of us too. You reject Satan, I do. And all his works, I do. And all his empty promises, I do. Do you believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Last question. Is it your will that Greta Ann and Roxanne Marjorie should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you?
now we have the anointing of the prison. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ was free, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the prism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as members of his body, sharing everlasting life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. When the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Now, a prayer over the ears and the mouth. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. We praise to the praise and glory of God the Father. Thank <laughs> you. 